Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our MTG keyword series looking at Metalcraft this time. Uh, I'm not on the set of Twin Peaks. If the, the lighting is weird, um, it looks like that kind of soft soap opera lighting, but it's, um, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not in a soap opera. Um, it's just early in the morning. I usually don't film this early. What is Metalcraft? So this ability word was recently released in Skarsum Yurden 2010. I don't know why I said recently. 2010 isn't that recent anymore. I am old. Anyway. Uh, this ability word only cares about how many artifacts you control. You need to control three artifacts for some kind of bonus for to be activated. So this very, I think it is all of them. All of the metal craft are triggered by having three artifacts, right? If you control three artifacts, it doesn't matter if it's non-token token, three treasures, hey, great, you're set, right? And that's actually what my next thing is. Keep in mind, if it is a permanent with metal craft that happens to be an artifact, which several are, they would count as one of the three you need. So if the thing with metal craft is an artifact, that is one of your three artifacts. It does include itself. So, or it can include itself if it's an artifact. So that's kind of nice. Does this sound familiar? So this mechanic is similar to Constellation is that it's checking for a card type. So it's kind of similar there, not really, but different in that it doesn't care if it is entering, just how many are controlled on the battlefield. So again, things like um, Constellation, which we covered before, and Landfall, they care about entering effects, right? These card types entering, this doesn't care if it's entering or whatever. It only is, it says how many are on the battlefield right now. If it's the right number, then you, or if it's three or more, then you get this other effect. Otherwise, it doesn't care if the, you know, if it just entered or if it, like, whatever happens. If there are four and it goes down to three, doesn't matter, right? Anything else really does not matter at all. Entering effects only have an effect when the particular card triggers them. Uh, while these may, effects may be consistent uh, based on your artifact count. So yeah, these I, are kind of better than entering effects in a way because you don't have to worry about like getting that particular card type or flickering it or whatever. It just says, is there that many? And then it'll be a consistent bonus, not like a one-time trigger bonus. So you can get a lot of effects that will just carry on throughout the whole game. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps a great deal. It really does. Okay, honorable mentions. Um, uh, Jora Kadeen, the Prevailer, actually picked up a couple of these recently. Uh, three Boros, so red, white, for a 5 4 with first strike. Not bad. Metalcraft, creatures you control get plus three, plus zero, as long as you control three or more artifacts. Plus three is a big bonus and it's just to all of your creatures right you do have to have the three artifacts but it's to all of your creatures it's not like an anthem effect that's saying like plus one plus one to elves right this is just everything so if you've got artifacts hey good to go vidalkin sir uh, sir tarch uh, sir tark I, I don't know for one blue a one one and yeah, if you control three or more uh, artifacts, you can tap target, uh, tap him to tap target a uh, creature, artifact, or land. So yeah, you can kind of just like tap down something from anyone else, especially with like counter spells and stuff like that. If if you're playing multiplayer, this is really easy. You just tap it and tap that land. That's you know that's the counter spell. If they have two blue open, tap one of the blue, right? Ideally during someone else's turn, or you can even do it during your turn, they can respond by tapping it and uh, getting the mana. However, you just cast your spell in the next main phase. So do that mean one, cast your spell mean two, and they lose the mana in between there. So yeah. Anyway, uh, sorry, Jorah Kadeen is nine cents and Vidalkin Surtark is uh, four cents. So very budget. Indomitable Angel, two white, white. This is one I keep putting into and out of my uh, Boros equipment decks, anyway. Flying 4-4 four, four for six, eh, anyway. 
<clears throat> artifacts you control have shroud as long as you control three or more artifacts. Oh boy, especially yeah, those Boros equipment decks. I gotta put this back in again, I think, because the last time I played my Boros equipment deck, someone kept uh, kicking all my stuff to the graveyard, and yeah, that doesn't work very well. Anyway, 30 cents. Number five Galvanic Blast for one red. So this does two damage, like shock, basically. So not good. But if you control three or more, artifacts it does four for one red basically upgraded lightning bolt with a very easy condition to meet there anyway 184 number four stoic rebuttal okay this is one blue blue counter target spell it's a counter spell the nice thing is that for if you have um uh one uh sorry three or more Artifacts, they cost one less to cast, so yeah, it's only blue blue, and then basically the casting cost is the same as like a counter spell. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, sorry, there's someone, yeah, okay, someone was calling me, which is very distracting, um, anyway, yeah, so the casting cost is the same, right, as a counter spell. Even in formats where maybe you can have multiple counter spells, you might want this to even like get a greater amount there as well. Um, this is also only 25 cents, so that's nice too. But yeah, if you've got any kind of like blue artifact deck, this is like another counter spell option that is definitely going to be worthwhile because of the, just the, the casting cost is kind of like the, as low as it gets most of the time for flexible counter spells. Number three, Dispatch. I love this one. Uh, one white? All right, you can tap target creature. Meh, right? Who cares? Um, with Metalcraft though, you exile that creature. So if you have three or more artifacts, exile. This is just an exile for one mana. Basically upgraded sword to plowshares. Um, oh boy, um, that is mean. Anyway, 127. Number two. Vidalkin Humiliator. Um, this is three and a blue for a three, four. Mm. Whenever it attacks, if you control three or more artifacts, creatures your opponents control lose all abilities and have base power and toughness one, one until the end of turn. You can set up so many combos with this, like Electricery, you can do one damage to everything that you don't control, and you've converted everything into 1-1, one, one, so you just do one-sided board wipe automatically. I mean, he does need to attack first, but yeah, attack him before uh, blockers are declared, Electricer Electricery, excuse me, Electricery, and just like take out the whole board, and like, yeah, wipe out everything, and then yeah, you just go in and hopefully win at that point. Anyway, this is a great setup. 12 cents only, aye, 12 cents. Number one, Pure Steel Paladin. Okay, so this is white, white for a two, two. Yeah, not bad. Whenever the equipment enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Card draw in equipment decks is so important, first of all. And Metalcraft, equipment you control have equipped zero as long as you control three or more artifacts. Oh my gosh. Um, this used to actually be like, I think it was over five bucks for a long time. It's come way down just because of multiple printings, or at least I think it's because of multiple printings. Maybe there's like a better version of Pure Steel Paladin out there that I'm not aware of. If there is, someone please tell me because, oh my gosh, I gotta get that. I actually just ordered this for my Boros deck because I had somehow forgotten. Anyway, 113. The list. Galvanic Blast is 184. Stoic Rebuttal is 25 cents. Dispatch is 127. Vidalkin Humiliator is 12 cents. Pure Steel Paladin. Uh, sorry, Paladin. Paladin is 113. Take it easy.